Hi there, Toy here, and it's time to wrap up 2019 and start 2020. So um, I'm a little late, but better late than never. Um, I actually have started posting videos in the year 2020, and I'm doing better than I ever have in the past as far as frequency. But as you know, I always start out well and fizzle out. And I'm hoping that that won't happen this year. So before I jump into the wrap up of 2019, going over everything that I didn't post last year and kind of what I have planned for 2020, I just want to say thanks for being here and let you know um, I am doing something called Counting My Blessings now that I'll be posting hopefully more frequently um, just as a way to you know make that connection and share with others. Over on my other channel, Lit Carnet Veil, I will start posting um, some bookish content based on what I consider maybe like bookish holidays or observances. Um, I didn't post a video for January 2nd, but I did post on like Facebook and Twitter, and that was um, National Science Fiction Day. So on that channel, I'll be posting that kind of stuff. And hopefully I'll remember to like link it back here and tell you guys about it if you're at all interested in that stuff. So let's um, look back um, at what I did in 2019. I um, did a reading challenge on Goodreads like, like I do every year and had like all these lofty goals <laughs> and um, just stopped recording videos. So I have quite a bit to catch you up on. So my goal for um, 2019 was to read um, 60 titles. Follow this channel or not, that's that's what I call them, titles, because they're not all necessarily novel and books. So let me um, kind of break that down for you. I um, superseded my goal this year. I actually read 76 books, titles, and um, here's the kind of breakdown of that. I read 28 novel length books. Um, five of those were nonfiction. Um, let's see, there was some adult fiction in there, some um, young adult fiction in there, some middle grade. Um, I read quite a few anthologies. So all of those things um, were in that area of the novel length books. I read 28 of those. Then I also read 18 graphic novels. And what's interesting about the graphic novels is um, some of those were like 100, 200, 300 pages. So yeah, while it's not all words, those visuals tell part of the story. So those graphic novels count for any of you out there who think they don't. And and here's the breakdown of that. Um, I read 15 fiction um, graphic novels, three nonfiction graphic novel, and two graphic novel anthologies. And then lastly, I read 25 either children's books or picture books. And I read a lot of children's books and picture books because of my work, but also because I write children's books and pictures books. So yeah, it makes sense to um, also read those. Um, so 23 of those were fiction and two of them were nonfiction. So that's kind of like the general idea of what, I, of what I read. So 76 books in total. And one thing that Goodreads does, I think is really cute, they give you a year in like wrap up of like everything that you read. So if you're at all curious in actually seeing the whole list, I did write two posts about them on my Toy Box blog and on my Lit Carney Veil vale blog where you can actually go and see all the different stuff. One, one of the numbers that I thought was really cute was the breakdown of the pages. So between 76 books, I read 30... 30,847 pages, which to me that's pretty impressive. Um, my longest book had 15 pages, children's books, come on. And uh, my, that's, I'm sorry, that was my shortest book. And my longest book had 2,090 um, pages. And that, that was obviously um, one of the anthology series. And so there's more information um, if you go to one of those links specifically about what I read and what I didn't read that year and so it was it was pretty I'm very proud of what I read in 2019 I expanded my horizons tried some new things um, of course stuck to a lot of what I know I like I think that's very important for people um, 
when it comes to reading is a lot of times people don't read because they think they have to read certain things. I read what I like and I'm advocating for other people to do the same. So with that being said, I do have some goals set for um, the year 2020. I'm not going to come up with like a list like I've done in the past. I think I stopped doing that last year and I still didn't continue recording, but things are going to be different this year. Um, <laughs> so my goal for this year, because I did so well with my goal last year, is 75 books. That's quite a leap from 60 to 75, but again, that's encompassing everything that I read, novel length things, graphic novels, children's books. So I, I feel confident that I'll be able to reach that goal. I also do a combination of, you know, physical print books. I, I do audio books and I do a lot of eBooks. So I'm getting, you know, my reading material all around so that that's how I'm able to like do so much in a year, plus still work and write and all that other stuff. And so for, like I said, for 2020, I'm, I'm going to, you know, try to do 75 books. And I've already posted my first review of the year, which I'm very proud of myself. It's actually one of the graphic novels that I meant to read last year. And stuff just kept happening. And the thing about it is it's a story that I'm really, really into. So each time that I would like, like read the first two pages, I would immediately put it down because I knew that I couldn't like, devote like the attention to it that I wanted and I didn't want to do the book an injustice and I'm glad that I kept putting it off it this, this was not a hard read at all it's not a very long graphic novel but I just wanted to make sure that when I did finally sit down to read it that I could truly appreciate it so my first review of the year is for Monstrous um, volume 2 and um, I'm glad that I waited um, to read it and I think the subtitle of it is The Blood and so um, I gave it a five star. And so I'm going to be sharing that review on one of my blogs. I haven't figured out which one yet. So, <laughs> but again, you can always follow me on Goodreads and see all of our reviews there. So the, that's, that's what I did as far as reading in 2019. If you visit either my Toy Box blog or my Lit Carnival blog, I mentioned a couple of other things that I did bookish wise. I attended some vendor events, some author events. I went to my first writers conference and I really got a lot out of that. So these are the kinds of things that I didn't really talk about last year. I could have made videos for them and I didn't and I'm going to try to rectify that this year. Um, I took a screenwriting class, you know, in the fall and I didn't, you know, talk about that at all. I'm not taking a screenwriting class right now. But I mean, that was an experience I could have shared and I didn't. So I'm just going to be more mindful to kind of share some of these experiences, especially on my Lit Carnival channel, because if you don't know what that is about, I am trying to um, host a book fair in the year 2021. So I'm giving myself the year of 2020 to try to raise funds and um, hype and things like that for it. There is so much um, literary talent in the Hampton Roads area where I live. I feel like, like there's probably literary talent everywhere, <laughs> but I know that there is in um, in my hometown, and I want to figure out a way to just um, give to that community and reach out to readers and advocate for reading in general. I think reading is more than just educational, and I feel like a lot of times people put too much emphasis on reading just being beneficial to education. It is beneficial to your life in general. Reading can be and should be considered another form of entertainment as well. It's just as valuable as going to the movies and listening to music, which I love doing all that stuff too, but yet somehow people after a certain age consider reading to just be something you do when you have to. And I would like to advocate that there is a place for reading in every literate person's life. And if you are not literate, we need to help spread some literacy so that people can all participate in the joy of reading. So that was my little soapbox. I'll be talking about that more on my other channel. So I just wanted to, you know, do this little 2019 wrap up. It was a much better year than I expected it to be in, in terms of a lot of things. And moving forward in the year 2020, I will be counting my blessings. I will be keeping you updated on my reading progress a lot better and posting reviews and um, just keeping myself 
more open and sharing more of what I have going on even though I feel like my life is boring some of the things that I'm interested in I think other people will also be interested in if I just share them and that is what I plan to do so that is my 2019 wrap up I could have gone through the list of everything that I read but like I said I'm going to include those links below um, so you can see the specific titles but I did give you that little breakdown of the type of books that I read just to kind of you know show you whatever you know your preconceived notions might be they don't have to be that so anyway that's all I have for now and I'll see you next time bye bye